And these signs shall follow those who believe in my name. If you believe, you can cast out demons. If you believe, you can cast out sickness. If you believe, you can trample upon serpent and snake and you will not be hurt. All you need is your faith to trample down every sickness, every affliction, and to leave that difficult situation. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are seeing my face for the first time, you are most welcome. God bless you for tuning in. My name is Henrietta, and on this channel, I pray with you. I guide you. I teach you how to pray to attract your miracle from God. So all you need is to join us, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the bell notification to always get updates. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you believe in God, you have the power to cast out the devil. You will take a deadly poison. It will not hurt you. You will trample down upon serpent, scorpions, fierce lion. You will not be hurt because you believe in God. You will lay your hands on the sick and they will be healed in the name of Jesus. The reason why you have been sick for so long, why that affliction is still tormenting you is because of your faith. You need to work on your faith. You need to build your faith. You need to focus on God. Understand the power of the Lord. Believe. And in this belief, you shall get your healing. Let me tell you, the moment you give your life to Christ, Christ is now in you. And that Christ in you is superior to sickness, to failure, to disease, to disappointment, to infection. The life of Christ in you is superior to disease and sickness. You are healed in the name of Jesus. All you need is to receive Christ in your life. And then what is in you is greater than sickness. When Christ is in your life, sickness cannot stay in your life. Disease cannot dwell in your life because two masters cannot be in the same boat or ship. One must bow for another. Sickness, failure, disease, they all belong to the devil. They are properties of the devil. When Christ is in you, light is in you, healing is in you, sickness will run away. Disease will run away because the power of Christ in you will terminate every sickness and disease. That is why I always plead with you. I always plead with you. Be in Christ. Go down on your knees and ask for forgiveness. This is the fastest way to get your healing. Without this, no matter the church you go to, the healing will not come. All you need is mercy. Because the sins of the world is so much. That is why we have different deadly disease, affliction, infection. You have treated for years, no result because of our sin. So if you have been sick or you have a loved one that has been sick, you have tried all you could. Begin to go on your knees and ask God to have mercy upon you, to have mercy upon your mother or upon your family member that is sick. Only with the mercy of God will they get their healing. After you have begged for mercy, you can now confess this, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Come into my life. Dwell in me. Remove every property of the devil from my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life, Jesus Christ. I receive you. Come into my life. Come and dwell in me. When Jesus dwells in you, no evil can live in you. There are people the enemy come to sow seed of affliction, evil projection, contaminate your blood, 
either through your dream or through the food or water you drink. And at times you see them manifesting failure, sickness, because of that evil plantation of the devil. When Christ dwells in you, everything, every property of the devil will leave you. So all you need is to ask Christ to come into your life. Jesus, come into my life. Dwell in me. Live in me. And then the life in you is superior to sickness, disease, and affliction. Every sickness will live when Christ come into your life. The Lord Jesus has already told us, Behold, I give you the authority to trample down serpent and scorpion and upon all the power of the enemy. You have the authority. I have the authority. You can destroy every power of the enemy. You can scatter every evil plot of the enemy. You can cast away affliction from your life. You can speak to that sickness it will leave. All you need is your faith. Not that after praying, you start crying, you start weeping, you don't believe. That alone has destroyed your prayer. Now, you are going to repeat this after me several times. Jesus, come into my life and destroy every sickness and disease. Can you say this several times? If you are sick, say this. If you have a loved one that is sick, they are the ones to say this prayer themselves. As far as they are not dead, they are still alive. Tell them to say this prayer, to say this seven times. With their faith, they will be healed. So if your mother is sick, your father is sick, you have a child that is sick, no matter the sickness, diabetes, cancer, God can do all. If your husband, your wife, your relation, they are sick, tell them to confess this. Jesus, come into my life and kill every sickness and disease. Jesus, come into my life and kill every sickness and disease. Jesus, come into my life and kill every sickness and disease. Seven times. On the seventh time, they will feel something in their heart. Except... This prayer was not from their hearts. They should open their hearts and say this. But before they say this, they should first of all ask for forgiveness. Because sin can deprive Jesus from dwelling in your life. When sin dwells in your life, devil dwells in your life. You don't expect God and darkness to be together. So the first stage to healing is mercy. And that was why you see in the Bible, all the people that wanted Jesus... To hear them, all they said was, have mercy upon me. Mercy brings healing. Mercy brings deliverance. Mercy brings forgiveness. Now this will be your prayer. No disease or sickness can fast into my body because the life in me kills sickness and disease. And I receive that life in the name of Jesus. That should be your prayer point after repeating that several times. No disease, no sickness, no cancer, no diabetes. Call out the name of that sickness. Can fasten itself to my body anymore because the life of Jesus in me kills sickness, kills affliction, kills disease, kills cancer, kills hepatitis, kills stroke in the name of Jesus. Say this prayer very well. No disease, no sickness. Call out the name of that sickness you are suffering from. No disease, no sickness. No ailment, no malaria, no typhoid. Call out the name of that sickness. And fasting itself to my body again because the life of Jesus in me kills disease and sickness. I receive that life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray on that. The life of Jesus in me kills sickness. The life of Jesus in me kills disease. I receive the life of Jesus. I receive Jesus in my life. I receive Jesus in my life. And every sickness leaves my body. Pray like this. And I pray for you today. 
as you receive the life of Jesus, you are healed. Because the Lord has given us the authority to cast out demons. I stand on that authority. I cast out every sickness, every infection, every disease from your body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cast it out. I cast it out. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. God bless you for watching. I will see you again. Be healed. Because you have a life in you that is superior to disease, ailment, and infection. Subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. I will see you again.